So Reddit is pretty much like crazy with the whole the RNG mount skins thing right now. Um, there's a lot of issue going on. Apparently a lot of players feel like the mount skins are either A, too expensive, or B, that you should be able to pick the skins and have no RNG basis for any of them. And they're saying, you know, that basically Anet going the way of loot boxes, the way a lot of games have been going, leads to the downfall of a lot of games. I'm not saying that that's necessarily untrue. There are a lot of games that have definitely fallen apart because of loot boxes. But I really, really want to be clear that I personally don't understand how the mount system is a loot box. I've played games with loot boxes before, and it's significantly different to what they've done. So for anyone who doesn't know what they've done, if you open up the Black Lion Trading Company, you can use gems to buy stuff. You can get gems with real life money or use in-game gold to get the gems. If you want to buy some skins, thus far in the game, all of the skins are gem skin store items, okay? So you go into promotions and in here you'll find Hey look, there's a reforged Warhound, 2,000 gems. Now I do want to say that all of the spooky mount skins, which is what I have on my rabbit right now, together were, if not on sale, 2,000 gems. But they were not nearly as complicated a skin as this one. Okay, they just basically put skellies on it. So if I hit preview here, this skin has like flamey stuff coming off of it and metal. You can dye everything on this mount, by the way. It has unique sounds and animations. Um, its panting sound and so on are unique to the skin itself. So they put a little more effort into it and they made it cost more. I don't see what's wrong with that personally, but there are people who are like, that skin's way too much. Then you have mount adopts licenses, okay? You can adopt a whole bunch of them for a limited time for four more days at this moment for 9,600 gems, okay? And you can get 30 mount skins for 9,600 gems. So that's 120 bucks in real life. If you want every skin right this second, you can do so by paying 120 bucks. But the actual mount adoption license and the actual mount adoption system isn't going anywhere at all and you can over time just slowly accrue the mount skins this option right here is for everybody who wants all the skins in one single day like you have to have them right this second for everybody else who doesn't need to do that 400 gems is like 100 gold it's not that huge of an issue it's not a big deal but people are making it into a big deal because of the 120 gold to buy all 30 skins instantly. Now the thing is, is if you buy a mount adoption license, what happens is that you end up being able to adopt a mount skin, okay? So a type of mount. So, you know, this is one, or this is one. These skins are not the most otherworldly amazing skins you ever saw. Now they are completely dyeable. You can totally change them. Okay, so there is that. But like, it's it's not like life changing. Some of them are cooler than others. There are ones that are, you know, pretty decently neat. Like this one right here has electricity and like the electricity pulses down its body. And you can dye that to some really cool effects. There's Flamey Bunny here, there's um, the lantern one has little glow lights on it, like if it was a deep sea creature, and then there's the oceanic one which has like bubbles inside of its body. You know, there's, um, personally, I really like this one. Looks like a mix between a Shiba and a Malamute. Um, husky, maybe. Anyway. You know, there's this one, which everyone seems to agree is a pretty cool skin. I haven't seen anyone who's like, oh my god, I hate that skin. 
you know, there are some cool skins, but for the most part, they're really, like, just straightforward. It still looks like a jackal or a griffin or a whatever. The only skin that doesn't look like all of these animals are still their same animal is this one, sort of, because it looks like it's forged. And again, my spooky skins that I have, okay, my spooky skins I got all together for 2000 but it's nothing except bones put on them, and you can dye them to look different than the bones by dyeing the bones the same color. So, like, this is the bones, and this is the original skin. This is the one you get just by getting the mount in the game. Bones, skin. See, it's exact same shape, all of that. So I don't feel like their pricing system is like crazy or something. I don't know. I think people are getting upset because they want all of the skins instantly. And the people who can do that, I mean, I guess kudos to you for having disposable income. Um, personally, I cannot afford to just drop $120 on mount skins in it, the game for, like, my family and my me. That, that's definitely too expensive for us, personally. But I do feel like people, like, they're acting like Guild Wars 2, like, robbed them or something. With a loot box system, like I've seen in other games, it's you get something out of the loot box either that is affecting how you can play, which none of these skins do. None of them make you more able to do something. None of them make you stronger in combat or make your mount stronger in combat. None of them make you more effective at anything that's actually in-game wise or get you a higher chance at loot. Like, nothing like that. The other thing is, is since they're purely cosmetic, some loot boxes in some games make cosmetic thingies that are super rare in the loot box, and you have to buy a shit ton of them. And then after you buy a ton of them, you get, like, either pieces to make a really cool mount, or else you get a really super low chance at the cool mount. And then you just buy loot boxes over and over again, hoping you get the good item, but the drop rate is so low on it that you end up screwed and you end up having spent a ton of money for, like, nothing. And you are guaranteed, when you get an adoption license, to get a skin. And once that skin unlocks, it comes off the loot table. And instead of there being 30 skins that can randomize, now there's 29 skins. And that skin is yours forever. It's not a loot box system. People are mislabeling it. Um, there is a little RNG to it, but it's also guaranteed. You will get something for having gotten it. No matter what, you will get a skin out of the deal. Like, I, uh, I don't know. I think RNG can definitely suck, but they're not making it 100% RNG. You know what the options are that the RNG is based on. So, personally, I would say if you like most of the skins, go ahead and start aiming for some. If you only like four of the skins, don't waste your time. That's genuinely what I feel like. More skins are going to come out in the future, and you're probably going to be like, oh wow, these skins don't even matter. They're going to do more like the Warforged Jackal skin, where it has unique sounds, animations, a different look like entirely than the Jackal had. They're gonna do more things that are like that. So don't like worry and don't like freak out. And if you're a collector and you just wanna have them all, don't worry, you'll get them all. Cause you can do it over time. You don't have to do them all right this second. It'll be okay. Anywho, that's my opinion on that. Personally, I would much rather see them implement a mastery system so that I can use Heart of Thorn Masteries while mounted. Ha! Ah! That would be way cooler to me than uh, not having RNG systems for the mounts. 